The global pandemic has undoubtedly changed the way we work and manage our daily lives. In fact, prior to this life-changing event, finding remote jobs was a tad more complicated. Most job sources didn't even bother to implement a remote work filter, forcing job seekers to get creative in their search and manually type phrases such as, telecommute or work from home. These days, thankfully, remote work has become much more acceptable and is now an expected option for many employees, especially those whose work is primarily done on a computer. The global pandemic finally pushed most job portals to adapt to modern times, with many websites now offering an actual remote work option or filter. However, that positive outcome has also led to a new threat. A drastic increase in cyber attacks. High alert in New York tonight for cyber attack. And banking websites have already been the target of Russian cyber attack. At least $10 billion of damage. That's the by far the biggest cyber attack in history. Those fuel paid a $4.4 million ransom to Russian hackers. Zero day attacks are considered some of the most destructive cyber attacks. A study conducted by Alliance Virtual Offices found that, ever since the start of the pandemic, cyber attacks have increased by a whopping 238%. This is the result of cyber criminals viciously targeting remote workers. These criminals know that remote work has granted new possibilities to target vulnerable individuals. Let's keep in mind that not everyone was ready to make such a drastic and sudden change to their work habits, particularly older employees who may not be sufficiently familiar with modern computing. And while employers have tried their best to make the transition go smoothly, certain issues have inevitably fallen through the cracks and led to potential danger. Despite this rising issue, roughly 65% of workers are willing to take a pay cut if it means not having to commute. After all, this means saving money on gas, spending more time with family, and potentially improving their overall quality of life. In addition, recruiters who provide remote work options are starting to see higher quality candidates. This means that remote work may have many more benefits than drawbacks. So, to help fight these drawbacks, what can you do to protect yourself as a remote worker beyond the pandemic? First, let's remember that working remotely allows people to work from practically anywhere, and this includes public places. So if you're working from a laptop at a local coffee shop, never leave it unattended even if you're close by. It only takes two seconds for anyone to grab it without your knowledge and make a run for it. Secondly, when it comes to email messages, never click a suspicious link or attachment. Even known sources, such as friends and family, can send you questionable emails either unknowingly or because their accounts were also hacked. Always proceed with caution by reading the natural language found in these emails. If something seems odd, it's always best to follow your instincts. In addition, keep all software up to date. This includes personal applications, work-related programs, and even your primary web browser, such as Google Chrome and Internet Explorer. Also, ensure your computer has a trusted security suite installed. Some reliable suites include Norton 360 Deluxe, Bitdefender Total Security, Trend Micro Maximum Security, as well as McAfee Total Protection. While we could dive much deeper into the subject of computer security, the aforementioned tips can do an adequate job at keeping the average remote worker protected. Now, I'd love to hear from you. How has your remote working experience been so far? What do you like and dislike about it? Has your work ever been compromised? Please leave your comments below and I'll be sure to give it a good read. Lastly, subscribe to this channel for more topics on business, money, success, and everything in between.